Hello, Royal Enthusiasts. Welcome back to your regular dose of Royal News and Analysis. It's a pleasure to see you all here again. Today, we've got a jaw-dropping revelation that has left the Royal family in shock and awe. So, grab your popcorn, settle into your chairs, and get ready for the unveiling of some surprising details. But hold on, before we dive into the murky waters of Meghan's allegedly fake pregnancy and spill all the beans, take a moment to subscribe and hit the bell icon. Trust me, what's about to unfold is well worth the anticipation. Now, in recent news, Meghan's agency has hinted at her potential involvement in a new Netflix series featuring a mysterious child. However, this announcement has sparked serious questions about who she might choose to portray her kids. Now, let's rewind to the bombshell dropped a month ago when Meghan announced her pregnancy. The family was taken aback when they discovered she was using a surrogate and sporting a fake baby bump. Given what we know about Meghan, such theatrics seem entirely possible. Sources have also disclosed that Meghan chose to bypass examinations by doctors affiliated with the royal family, opting instead for private examinations at Eugene's wedding. Intriguing, isn't it? Stay tuned for more revelations. When Meghan initially declared her pregnancy, she opted not to engage the Queen's doctors. This decision raises eyebrows and prompts the question, why choose an alternative if everything is as straightforward as she claims? The choice not to involve the Queen's doctors may suggest a desire to keep certain details concealed. Addressing the elephant in the room, suspicions surrounding the legitimacy of Meghan's pregnancy have lingered. The royal family, cautious not to upset the Harkles, couldn't conduct direct examinations and had to navigate the situation delicately. It remains unclear whether Meghan informed the palace about the doctor she consulted, adding to the air of mystery. Now, let's explore a more peculiar angle. The Roth family, potentially influenced or manipulated by Meghan, may have suggested announcing a miscarriage as a cover for the use of a surrogate. This theory aligns with Meghan's penchant for the limelight. The rejection of this option could stem from Meghan's desire for future plans that involve deception. As the story unfolds, it takes a bizarre turn. From questionable fake baby bumps to discrepancies in birth certificates and the emergence of mysterious stories, it seems that the web of lies is gradually unraveling. Stay tuned for more revelations as the plot thickens. The plot thickens, and the list of questionable actions continues, with suspicions of a cover-up. The Harkles chose Eugene's wedding as the occasion to announce the pregnancy, then jetted off to Australia, spending a portion of Meghan's pregnancy outside London. Adding to the intrigue, Harry refrained from personally announcing the child's birth, leaving it to the presentation of documents. If the rumors about a surrogate are true, even crisis management experts would find such a feat bewildering. Pulling off a deception of this magnitude seems nearly impossible, and the potential repercussions would be unparalleled. If substantiated, this revelation could go down in history as one of the most significant hoaxes in royal history. As if the day's drama wasn't enough, royal commentators suggest that King Charles subtly addressed Prince Harry and Meghan in the Christmas address, advising them to treat others as they would like to be treated. It appears that the royal family is delicately maneuvering through strained relations. What are your thoughts on this mind-boggling revelation? Share your opinions in the comments, and let's keep the conversation going. Until next time for more royal news and analysis, goodbye for now.